Hello everyone and welcome back to the Floor Play channel. I'm Bella. I'm Jace. In today's video, we're going to be talking about body types in the swinging lifestyle. We want to start off by saying that all body types are welcome in the swinging lifestyle. We also want to state that all ethnicities, sexual orientations, and ages, legal of course, are also welcomed in this lifestyle. But in this video, we'll specifically be focusing on the acceptance of body types. We get a lot of emails and comments from people who are newer in the lifestyle who say that their partner and them are thinking about stepping into the lifestyle but are scared they won't be welcome or feel welcome due to their bodies. If you've seen our videos in the past, you may have heard us describe that a lifestyle event looks a lot like what you'd see at an airport minus kit. You'll see all different ethnicities, ages, and body types. And this is one of the best examples we found to describe how vast the array of people at a lifestyle event is. We know there are countless people who are newer to the lifestyle and have never been to an event before and the unknown can be really scary. And when you go to most lifestyle websites, whether that's for clubs, resorts, or vacations, you'll generally see the same type of advertisements. And mostly everyone on these sites are young, conventionally very attractive, and have very fit bodies like the model type, you could say. We think this is a big reason why so many people believe the lifestyle is only for a certain group of people, but that couldn't be further from the truth. While there are many people who have stereotypical good looks and fit bodies, it's not everybody and it's not the majority. When you go to one of these events, you'll truly see all types of people with all different body types. So if your concern is that you'll go to an event and just not fit in, just know that that's not true. For example, when we were on like Saw Cruises, there are usually fully nude areas like at the Solarium. The one thing you'll see that they all have in common is that they're comfortable being themselves in these areas plus everywhere else on the ship. You'll see people with all body types wearing sexy outfits to the parties and people with all body types in the playrooms enjoying their time. So just know everyone is meant to feel comfortable and everyone can. Another thing you have to think about is attractiveness is subjective. I know that I'm not attracted to everybody so I can't expect everyone to be attracted to me. That goes for all everything, every demographic, right? That's just how it works and that's totally okay. And so you have to think that first of all, that you're gonna go in and sometimes you guys are not gonna fit for each other. Maybe the couples you meet, you guys aren't always gonna line up. That's totally okay, that's gonna happen. But you're definitely gonna find your people, you always will. There's also so much to do with personality and getting to know people and making friendships. That makes a huge difference. I know there's been people that maybe on paper I'm very attracted to and then you get to know them and maybe you guys don't quite line up. There's also been the opposite where maybe someone on paper is not quite my type, but then you start to know them and you really become attracted to those people. And so there's so much more that even goes into it than just the physical looks. There's so much of the friendship and connection that helps build that attractiveness because attractiveness isn't just physical. It is important to remember though to not feel offended or feel hurt if you do see some groups of people who surround themselves with certain types of people. That's totally okay. Just like everyone's allowed to have their types, they're allowed to hang out with whoever they want. So maybe you see a group of people that is stereotypically very attractive or very fit and everyone around them is that way. If they choose to surround themselves with people like that, that's totally okay. That's their choice. Just like it's your choice to do whatever you want to do, right? And so everyone is allowed to choose however they want. And we said, just don't be offended or anything like that because everyone is allowed to find their space and what makes them happy. So just keep that in mind as well. So just remember, do not take any of it personally if maybe you don't line up with people. It's totally okay. We highly recommend a book called The Four Agreements and it's four things to live by. The book is extremely short, but one is about taking nothing personally. And it was one of the most life-changing things for us that we've ever really read. And so I would highly recommend it. I'll put the book name down here, but yeah, check that out. And it's just don't take anything personally. That goes with everything in life. We're gonna move into confidence and how important it is not just in the swinging lifestyle, but in all parts of life. We'll both share how we personally gain confidence and how the lifestyle actually helped us with that. We believe the first place to start though is with self-love. And as cheesy as it sounds, if you don't truly love yourself, how can you expect others to fully love you? And that was the very first realization that we had. It's critical to love yourself for who you are right now too, because that's where the healing begins. And for many people, finding the self-love is enough. And from that point on, you can be confident, which is such a beautiful thing. And you'll hear countless people say that nothing is more attractive than confidence and we both very much agree. For others, even when you find self-love, you may still have insecurities and that's totally normal. We want to make it clear that it's perfectly okay to want to change your appearance if you believe it'll make you feel more confident. Wanting to change yourself is not a dig at other people of other body types. Everyone's journey is unique and what matters most is how you feel about yourself. I'll talk a little bit about my confidence journey in all of this and uh, this is before we actually got into the lifestyle but I went through a major weight loss and fitness 
fitness journey and I was very unconfident with myself and I was always insecure and anytime that Jace would see someone who I thought was prettier than me or skinnier than me or whatever it was, it made me feel really bad about myself because I felt like I didn't look like that. And it was such the complete opposite though because whenever I gained confidence in firstly our relationship, when I fully became secure knowing that he's not going to leave me just because he finds somebody who is attractive to him, that's not why we're together, that was a big piece of me being able to overcome that jealousy. And then the other one was starting to become confident in myself and just how could he love me if I didn't even love myself. And so from there, I started working on what I felt like I needed to do to make myself the most confident. And that was going through a fitness journey. And the physical change definitely helped me, but even more so was the mental and internal change that I felt in myself going through this and building that confidence and going through this together with him. And I just feel like it completely changed the trajectory of our really our entire relationship and the entire relationship that I had with myself and I went through something I guess kind of similar I know I'm not the biggest person still but I was you know five nine and a hundred and three pounds or something like that I was extremely skinny my entire life people didn't ever make fun of me for being skinny but they're like wow I wish I could eat like you all of the things that like you don't think are offensive but are offensive and so I dealt with this really big insecurity in myself I also think back to the point of we were each other's first boyfriend and girlfriend and so I never had somebody tell me I was attractive. I never had those things. And so it was hard for me to gain that confidence. And so what I did was I went through and I worked on the things that I thought would make myself feel the best. And yes, while I got bigger, like Bella said, that did help me feel better, but it was that mental aspect of it though that really changed because as I saw myself changing some in the mirror, my, ment my mentality felt so much better. I just felt better about myself, which grew my confidence. And so I went through something similar to her and I feel like they said it wasn't just about the actual physical change, it was the things that came along with the physical change that helped me feel so much more confident about myself. And again, we wanna be clear that physical change isn't necessary, but we just wanted to share our journeys with you and how it personally helped us and how if you want to do that, it's okay too. It is something to note that we have noticed some differences whenever we went abroad and have been kind of the swinging lifestyle in other places. We noticed that in Europe specifically, People seem to be a lot more fit overall, but I don't think that just has to do with the lifestyle. If you walk around normal cities, you kind of see that. And so I think it reflects on their culture. And so whenever we do talk about this, yes, it is very open, it is very broad, but there is certain places that do have people that generally kind of look alike. Also, it's totally okay, but just know that like Bella said at the beginning, it's not the norm for everyone to look kind of the same, but some places in the world kind of have more groups like that. And the biggest thing to remember, this is about a journey with your partner. You putting your partner and yourself together and going to these things, that's what really matters. It's not about the play, and even at the end of the day, it's not even about making the friendships with the other people. Yes, those things are extremely important, but it's your journey with your partner. And so remember that just because maybe you haven't found your right people yet, it's totally okay. It takes time to find people sometimes, and that's totally normal. So just keep going to these events, keep being yourself. You are gonna find your people, you're gonna find your group, and then you are going to branch out and meet more and more people. And the more you put yourself out there and the more confidence you have, the more friends you're gonna make and the better time you're gonna have. Just think it's so important that everyone knows that everyone is welcome and wanted in the lifestyle. There are so many different people with all different kinds of attraction levels. Some people may be attracted to specific body types, while others are drawn to personalities or confidence or other unique traits. Everyone's preferences are different and that diversity is what makes a lifestyle so inclusive and exciting. You'll find people who appreciate you for who you are just as you are. And it's not about fitting a specific mold, but it's about being yourself and finding those who connect with you on various levels, whether that be physical or emotional or intellectual. You'll find your people and the connections that you are meant to have. If you're struggling with starting in the lifestyle because of body insecurity issues, we just encourage you to take that leap and get started and you'll see that the community is diverse and you'll fit right in. So we really hope that that helps, but thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe to the when we post a video, and then maybe there's something that really helped you along in your journey that you think could help other people. Drop that down in the comments. We'd love to hear it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!